This is a short video on logistic equation, period doubling, chaos, and bifurcation diagrams. We start with the logistic equation. A logistic equation can be written as dx dt equals to rx into 1 minus x with some initial condition given. It can be used to model population growth of some sort, where x is the population of the species in question at time t and r represents some intrinsic rate of growth. Using Euler's method, we can use a step size of say h to find an approximate solution to the uh, logistic equation. And the formula will look like equation 2, xn plus 1 equals to xn plus h into rxn multiplied by 1 minus xn. Now, the question here is that, suppose we start with an initial value of x0. Will the method always give us a unique solution regardless of the start size of h? Now, it turns out that using different values of h, we may get different outcomes. In fact, for small values of h, after a while, we should get one equilibrium point if we increase n. However, as h is gradually increased, there will come a point where we obtain two equilibrium points. That is, with increase in n, we will end up with maybe two different values of x. Now, if h is further increased, we can get four equilibrium points, and subsequently eight, and so on. We sometimes call this period doubling. Beyond a certain value of um, h, we observe no pattern and we call this stage chaos. This is a picture showing you the bifurcation of the equilibrium points. As you can see, the vertical axis here shows the xn for large value of n, meaning that we are approaching uh, convergence if there is convergence. And we see that for small values of h, horizontal axis shows the h value, we have one equilibrium point. But as h increases, we have 2, and then 4, and then 8, and then we can't see any pattern after that. How do we construct a bifurcation diagram? We start with a small value of h, and then we compute a sequence of xn. Starting with a, a value of x0, we find x1, x2, x3, and so on, until we reach a large number, say 200. Uh, this is to ensure that we, we are close to convergence, if not have reached convergence. Then, starting from that point onwards, we find and plot the next 30 values of xn. After that, we increment h by a small amount, and we repeat the above two steps, steps 2 and step 3. We will do this until we reach a value of h that we are satisfied with. Now, here is a little video, a movie, showing how it will look like. As you can see, we have bifurcation here. And at this point, it bifurcates again to 4, to 8, very quickly, and then we run into chaos, because we can't see any more pattern. It will be fun to be able to construct your own bifurcation diagram.